let's go on ahead. Let's get into this. Is it going to be the away team Blue Jays? Is it going to be the home team Astros? Game one of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series starts now. Reese Worthington stepping to the plate. Again, this is his debut. First pitch from Radke. Ooh, a little bit low there. And Worthington looking to lay down the bunt. Here's Radke. Ooh, that one's going to be well placed. A bunt laid down here by Reese. He did just sick on his inhaler, and he's going to beat it out. Wheeler and Radke combine, <laughs> collide on the first play of the game as betting has now been closed. Here comes Dante, his first hot dog of the day. First pitch from Radke. Ooh, just barely managed to catch that inside corner. <laughs> howdy, howdy, extra ketchup. How you doing? Radke, another big hook coming. Ooh, and Dante, another swing and a miss. Radke, the only player in baseball history to have the last name Radke. Here comes the heater. Ooh, and Dante goes down. Radke was a one-time all-star in his day and a trash talker to Dante Robinson. They are not friends. A career record of 148 and 139. Again, guys, I did adjust the volume of the game. Let me know if it's too loud or just right. First pitch swing and oh, and Keisha belts one. Ahmed settling under it though, and that'll be the second out of the inning. Offline on the throw there, but no harm, no foul. Here comes Ken Griffey Jr. to the plate. A baseball has... A, it, I don't know, Pete. It's difficult. A little slow ball here to start things off. Oh, and he caught him on the hands. Here comes Piazza out to field it. He goes to second inexplicably, and everyone's going to be safe on the fielder's choice. Piazza, there's two away. The situal awareness was not there. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Here we go with Sean Green now stepping to the plate. His first time appearing. Actually, it's his second time. I remember his terrible sideburns. Tried to open up the stance there, but missed it. Two-time All-Star Sean Green. Career batting average of 283. Here's Radke. Another big hook. Just barely catching the zone there. Next time, we're going to make sure to turn off the pitch locator because we want the suspense. 0-2 the count here. Two on as well. Ooh, just barely staying around there. And that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just, just barely staying alive there. Oh, he opens up the stance. This one, a sharp hit. Over to Tim Hudson at second. He's going to make the play to second, just barely managing to get it to Rollins in time to get Junior out. Two left on board. Griffey. Griffey, come on, man. We want to play today. Did he exhaust himself already? <laughs> Two hits, but no, fa no harm there. And now here come the cheaters to the plate. While Dante has a solid set of core pitches, his crazy pitches could use some work, especially his slow mo ball. Ricky Johnson is the first one out of the dugout. You hear the scouting report there from the Gooch. And here comes Ricky Johnson, arguably the worst hitter in the history of backyard baseball to the plate. Leading off this game, I suppose it was his turn to come to bat. Dante, despite his small stature, the best eater in the entire backyard baseball roster. Combined with that, he's an incredible all-around player. But not hitting his spots here early. Two and one the count. The scouting report says that Dante's got the skills to pay the bills. The grocery bills, that is. But remember, guys, you can only go out grocery shopping once every 10 days right now. 2-2 the count here. 
Jr. getting in on the trash talking. Ooh, and no chance at all for Ricky Johnson. Interesting strategy there by the Astros, leading their worst hitter is to give a power up right away to the opposing Blue Jays. We'll see how it works out for him. I know how to play the baseball. <laughs> yes, you do, Pete Wheeler. Pete Wheeler, the most lovable member of this roster, arguably. Oh, he lays down the bunts while he's scratching his head. No way Dante's going to be able to make the play. Oh, he's going to try to take second on the third. Here's the throw down, and Pete gets gunned out. Excellent play there by Tommy to quickly flip it on to Keisha Phillips for the out. Here comes Ahmed Khan now to the plate. Base running air already. Ahmed, he's having a down day today, I gotta tell you. Not feeling the best. Oh, on the count. That one, ooh, a little bit out the sound. And Ahmed fouls it away. Here's Dante. Ahead in the count, first time today. A little bit of a waste pitch there, but Ahmed not biting on it. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, take my Walkman away. That's what Ahmed Khan says. Whoa! Coming with the heater inside already, but Ahmed, he's a statue at the plate. Oh, here's something to hit. Oh, he belts it. That one deep and back and gone. Ahmed said, feeling bad, who? As he jumps ahead for the home team. Oh, what a screaming shot that one was. Measuring 372 to deep right center field. Sean Green didn't even bother turning around and looking at it. Here comes Mike Piazza. The other athlete in this game who wears, wears his hat backwards. Ooh, swing and a miss there for Piazza. I believe Piazza making his debut as well in the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. The 0-1 here. Piazza, oh, he opens up the stance. This one hits sharply over to third. Right to Conine, who's not able to make the play. It's going to go out. Oh, Piazza, not a fast runner. In the pickle and down he goes. Oh, a couple of questionable base running mistakes here by the Trash Dros, but they will walk away with the one to nothing lead at the end of the first. All right, Jeff Conine, here he comes. Conine making his third appearance in back in the history of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. Ooh, Radke challenges him with the fastball, says, who is you? Strike one. Conine, the two-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion. Ah, fouls that one off as he, uh, he couldn't manage that one. The year is 2002, and Jeff Conine batted 273. But he swings right through that one. No chance at all. Radke, his second strikeout already. Here comes Jorge Garcia. Let's see what this kid can do. Jorge Garcia, who after the game yesterday got into an IQ contest with Dmitry Petrovich. Is going to look at strike one right there. Jorge Garcia made his first appearance in Backyard Baseball 1997. Hasn't looked back since. Ooh, another nicely placed pitch there. And Jorge just, all he can do is hack at it. 0-2 the count. 0-2 here. Ooh, got him looking. Radke is dealing early on. One run might be all he needs. Oh, ha, ha. Here comes Maria. Oh, Ackman, not a Maria Luna fan, saying he that she is blinding him with her lameness.
This one? Ooh, this one hit high up into the air. Going back on it is Hudson. Not able to make the play. The second base is unoccupied. Luna's going to go for it, but she is misjudged it. And Rollins manages to make the play. I have to say, guys, when you're choosing what team to bet on, the middle infielder seem to be very important as a third base running mistake on the day between the two teams already. Astros coming to the plate. It's going to be Rollins, Billy Jean Blackwood. Also due up, and then Radke, the pitcher. Rollins, the World Series champion with the Phillies. Yes, the Phillies did win a World Series championship, and it might be because of this man. This one hit back. Junior not able to make the play as it goes off to his glove. It's a good throw in, but Keisha is not paying attention. Rollins going to turn for third here, and he's out. Trying to stretch it out to a triple. There was Rollins, and it turns out that Keisha Phillips was just pretending to not pay attention in order to try to bait him to go to third. Heads up play there, Keisha. Those are the types of plays that win you baseball games. Here comes Billie Jean Blackwood now to the plate. This one a big hook, but Billie Jean not able to handle it. Billie Jean's first appearance in the history of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. Ooh, and it's not a good one as she's down 0-2 already. Billie Jean called the beauty queen of the bayou. Not a really great fielder with the glove, but she has a terrific arm and is a good contact hitter, according to the scouting report. You can't make contact if you don't swing, though, Billie Jean. She goes down. <laughs> she lost a hair clip. Feels bad, man. Dante Robinson already a second strikeout of the day. This one, ooh, a big hook, man, just to catch the zone there. Radke in a career 29 at bats over the course of his career, tally three hits. That's a batting average of 103. He struck out nine times though, and it's looking like it might happen again. Owing to the count here. This one, Ooh, a bit low, Radke with the good eye. Blue Jays trying to close this one out. Fouled on back. Tim Hudson, the other pitcher on this team, is waiting on deck. Ooh, this one, one, two. Just misses. Here's a 2-2, two, two. two outs, deuces wild, ooh, he goes down looking, Dante Robinson gets two look in this inning, and that'll do it. Still one to nothing for the Trash Shows here, ooh, and here comes the dangerous Jim Tomey, batting ninth today, because he's a nice guy. It's Tommy, Reese, and Dante do up the sitting. First pitch by Radke outside. He's being dangerous with the very large Tommy. Howdy there, Mom. How you doing? Ooh, this one hit on the ground. Radke, he'll field it. The flip on to first. Bagwell's got it. One away. Tommy, the Hall of Famer, batting ninth today. <laughs> Here we go, it's Reese Worthington. He singled his first time up. Blue Jays trying to fight their way back into this one. As a reminder, there hasn't been a single comeback in the history of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. So he's, yeah. Blue Jays have a tall order already. Ooh, he closes up the stance. Oh and two though. Radke looking strong. Ooh, this one. Good eye there from Reese. 
Reese says he looks more like a stamp collector than a baseball player. That is insulting. That looks like a ball player if I ever seen one. In truth, looks like Michael Walton. <laughs> here we go. Two and two here. Let's see what Radke can do. After being up 0-2, he the count worked all the way back to full. Radke not finding the put-away pitch here against the small strike zone of Reese Worthington. And he walked him. He walked him. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, 0 and 2 in the count. Walked him. Utter and complete disgrace. Dante Robinson, his second hot dog of the game. Shuck out his first time up. Ooh, nothing doing there, though. Oh, look at Dante closing up that stance. He thinks you came inside the first time. I'm predicting outside this time. And Radke, his sixth straight ball. This is brutal. Six inning games. Six inning games. Here's the 2 -0. Oh, he did get the outside pitch. Tried to bunt it, but not able to get it down. 2-1 the count. Oh, that one's a juicy one. Here we go. He swoons it the other way, and it's through. Ackman, oh, he takes a bad route, and it gets by him. Worthington's heading toward third. Dante's going to stand at second, and it's a big double. They're going to decide to just both move up. Now they're both going back. It's a pickle. Oh, and the ball's into left field. They're not moving up. Why aren't they moving up? Guys, guys, what are we doing, guys? <laughs> they say we don't want to tie the game. We're, we're happy to keep it at 0 and one we learned our lesson <laughs> oh <laughs> well here comes Keisha Phillips to the plate oh man luckily only one out here Keisha Phillips arguably the best hitter in this lineup oh that's a gift right there to Radke Radke's been struggling to find the strike zone <laughs> I don't know what just happened backyard baseball just happened this one, ooh, she opened up the stance, but barely late on the swing there for Keisha. 0-2. Radke, you've been here before. Keisha hanging tough. You gotta love the effort here from Keisha Phillips. Kane Griffey Jr. waits on deck here, though. That one? Oh, Keisha, she belts it. This one hit high, hit deep. Reese Worthington is tagging. It's going to be off the scoreboard. Bzz. And here comes Reese Worthington. Dante, he's heading home as well. And two runs will score. It's a trip, trip, triple. No, Keisha, she wants it all. She's heading home. Piazza, he took a nap. He dives, he tags her out. What? <laughs> what just happened? Keisha Phillips, though, let's, the silver lining. It's two to nothing. It's two to one now for the Blue Jays. We have our first lead change in the history of backyard bot baseball. <laughs> what? Um, um, imagine trying to stretch a triple into a home run with Ken Griffey Jr. on deck. Imagine. <laughs> oh, man. One of the count here. Radke, he's struggling. It all started back when he got ahead 0-2 to Reese Worthington, but then wasn't able to put him away. Piazza is that good, yeah. Ooh, 3-0 the count here. Are, are they going to give Ken Griffey Jr. the green light here with the 3-0 count? Oh... Oh, they do! Oh, he takes it the other way! This one back and deep! No chance! Look at Pete Wheeler run! But it's gone! Oh, baby! The Blue Jays back in the third with three runs on the board! 370 on the tape measure as Junior takes Red Key deep, deep, deep! Holy smokes. Sean Green comes to the plate. Sean Green's the real deal, folks. The real deal. Here comes Sean Green now to the plate. He sets. Pitch on the way. Swung on. That one swung on. Missed. This kid's Two away here. They still have Radke out on the mound. 20 feet off. 
If you bet on the away team, Teresa, you're feeling good about this comeback. 0-1 to count here. This one outside corner. Hot shot. Rollins. It's by him. This one all the way to the fence. Green. He's going to try to stretch this into a double. Johnson is going to throw it, but just barely. Rollins has it on the outfield grass, and it'll be a two-out double for Sean Green as the bats are coming alive for the Blue Jays here. <laughs> no trash can required. <laughs> Here's Jeff Conine to the plate. He struck out his first time up. Ooh, big cut there. Konai not feeling the best today. His hitting is down, but we said that about Ahmed Khan earlier, and he went yard. This one a little bit high. Yeah, yeah. And get a one and one. A little control problem in the Gooch. It's been going on. A little bit low, a little bit outside. 2-1 now the count. Green, good, good wheels out there at second base. Oh, this one. It's juicy, and it's hit well. Popped up. Oh, well, that's not a pop-up. Green, he's going to come around and try to score. Johnson decides to fist pump, fist bump the fence a couple times. Conine is slow, super slow, and he will be out at second trying to stretch it to a double. But man, oh man, did the Blue Jays put a hurtin' on Brad Radke here in the third. Eight nine one two up here for the Astros, starting with Tim Hudson. Let's go now. Hudson, the representative for the Oakland A's in this game. First pitch swinging right back to Dante. Oh, it's off his shin, but he picks it up, fires to first, and manages to get the out there. Good composure there by Dante Robinson. Jeff Bagwell actually playing for the Astros in this game. A little bit outside there. Bagwell, the Hall of Famer, former MVP. Rookie of the Year, four-time All-Star. Oh, a rise ball here. Ooh, but it's inside. A little bit of tomfoolery there from Dante. Bagwell, a career batting average, 297. Oh, he goes the rise ball again, but misses. 3-0 here. Remember, the scouting report on Dante Robinson says that his tricky stuff, he can't control it very well. And he's got to be exhausted after throwing three straight tricky power-up pitches. And all he has to show for it is a walk to Bagwell. A bit of trivia from tonight's game. Both teams starting a Hall of Famer, but batting him ninth in the lineup. Really makes sense. Oh, here comes Sean Green now to pitch. <laughs> Johnson, 0 for 1. Had to strike out his first time up. Sean Green, typically a right fielder, first baseman. Played for the Dodgers back in the day. Oh, a bunt laid down here by Johnson. Bagwell is slower than Molasses, so he's going to get thrown out at second. No double up there, but I suppose they trade... Uh, base runners get the faster Johnson now on base. Sean Green never once threw a pitch in his major league career, but he's good enough to appear here in the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. This is game one. Ooh, that one. Tad outside, Pete Wheeler trying to battle back, went 0 for, 1, 0 for 1 so far today. Oh, this one down the middle. Pete, he belts it. This one hit well. It's going to fall in softly in front of Junior. Johnson, great base running. Reese Worthington, he's got some butterfingers. Oh, they, they got a pickle now, but Johnson's going to... Oh, he's going to head home. Oh, what's he doing? He's heading home. He's throwing it to Maria De Luna. Luna, she's just going to chase him down. She's so much faster. No, she's not. She's not. She could have easily thrown it to third. What are you doing? No one's at home. No one's covering home. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. My brain. <laughs> All right. Here comes Ahmed Khan now to the plate. 
Khan, he had the solo homer his his first time up. Oh, the runners are going. Pete Wheeler, though, he's going to take second. That'll do it. Oh, the ball's into left field. The ball's into left field for the second time today. And the slowest runner in the history of runners, Jeff Conine, is trying to chase it down. And oh, what are we doing here, guys? It's like they don't want to score runs. All right, here's Ahmed Khan. Oh, one the count here. Khan, he's got a cold today, but he's got to find a way to put the team in the backpack and push them across the line here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, just a little bit early on the swing there. He was geared up for the fastball, though. Big pitch here for Green. Little low, trying to get him to nibble, but Khan's not biting. It is fair. He didn't swing. It's a ball. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, he grooved him one. Oh, Ahmed! Oh, Ahmed! Did he do it again? This one hit deep to left. No, Jorge's back. Oh, Jorge! He botches it. One run is scored. Here comes the second. They didn't count the first run because this game's... Okay, they did count it. They're good, good, good. Oh, Ahmed Khan. Ahmed. The big two RBI single. He gets thrown out at second, but we got ourselves a ball game. Holy smokes. Here comes Jorge. Oh, that one. Radke. Boy. He grilled him one there, and Jorge took a swing with all his might, but not quite able to get anything from it. That one. Ooh, another cut and a miss now. Oh, to the count here. Radke the zigzag pitch. Oh, and Jorge goes for it. Wasn't able to decipher that one. Radkey is four strikeout on the game. Here comes Maria. <laughs> Maria, you got a question. Man, that foot, that right foot just really looks like it's in pain. All right, Owen won there. Owen here. Radkey's showing the heater there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, this one right down the middle. Luna. Over to Rollins. Rollins, he takes a bad angle. And with that, Maria is going to be safe at first. Tough day in the field there. Maria Luna, good friends with Reese Worthington, actually. They hang out. Here's Tommy. First pitch, a bit low to him, but does manage to catch the zone. Maria's going to try to steal the base. Piazza. Pounds the ball into the ground. Oh no, Maria, what are you doing? Rollins, he's so much faster, but he throws on to third, and that'll be the out. Ah, getting a little bit greedy there. Oh, won the count here now. Tell me with no one on base. Could have had someone in scoring position, but would it have mattered? He pops it up. Here's Piazza giving chase, but not able to get there. Here's the 0-2 now. No, inside, no swing. Tell me, really looking for something to groove here. Oh, here's the delivery. It's a fastball. He got one, but it's going to be grounded over to Hudson. Hudson, the diving stop, throw to first, and that pitching arm is more than enough to get Tommy at first. That'll end the inning there, as we get the beautiful replay up on the Megatron out in center field. Oh boy, here come the Astros now. They did manage to tack on two in the bottom of the third, as we got a competitive game here in game one of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. Trademark. At the first one, a little bit low, want to know. Sean Green recording a big out to end the bottom of the third. Now pitching up against Piazza. 1-1 one, one here now. 
Oh, dang. That's got a hole in it. That's not good. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, this one belted. Piazza says, I am the cover athlete of this game, and I am going to hit this one off the top of the wall. Junior settles underneath it. Here comes the throw to third. Junior's got a great arm, and Piazza, he's rung up. Keisha, she's super fast. She's just going to take it herself. And cover athlete or not, Piazza is retired. Oh, boy. Here comes Jimmy Rollins. You really got to question the base running of these players here today. I'm just saying. 1-0 the count here. Rollins didn't get a hit his first time up. That one a tad outside. He's not offering at him. Billy Jean Blackwood waits on deck. Followed by Radke, the starting pitcher for the Astros if we get there. Ooh, a zigzag pitch here, but that one a tad low, and it'll be 3-0. and Rio here. Will Rollins have the green light? You bet he does, but he's late on the slow ball, and that'll make it a 3-1 count. Here's the 3-1 now, a little hook, and Rollins. The count worked full now. Sean Green getting a little bit of momentum behind him, and you just hear the crowd getting behind him. Oh, he opens up the stance, though, and this one is hit well. Jorge, this one's going to get by him all the way to the wall. Rollins does have wheels, and the throw is into the cutoff man, Worthington. Rollins has himself a double as he slides into second. Beautiful, beautiful one-out double here by Rollins. As Billy Jean Blackwood steps to the plate. Rollins, the game tying run, standing at second base here. First one. Ooh, Billy Jean, even though it's a little bit outside, she took herself a big cut there. Yeah, her, well, Junior, that's not appropriate. Here's the 0 1. Oh, this one. Hit up in the air. Worthington giving chase. He won't manage to get it. Rollins wasn't tagging up. Oh, he's going to head home. They were chest bumping over there at second base. And there's the game tying run. We got ourselves a tie ball game. The infield double by Billy Jean Blackwood there. Actually a single. But man, oh man. What a crazy, crazy turn of events as we're all tied up. Here comes Radke now. Ooh, first pitch a little bit low in the zone. Radke a good swing on it, but he'll foul it back. Ooh, another big cut, and it's 0-2. And Radke's starting to show that pitchers cannot hit. <laughs> pitchers are athletes too, guys. Little inside there, 1-2. and two. Billy Jean standing on second. She represents the go-ahead run. Now here's the big hook. Radke, he manages to get a hold of it here. Is it going to stay fair? It will. No one's covering first. Billie Jean, she's going to take third. Everyone's safe at the corners. Sean Green, a little slow, getting over to cover first. And now another pitcher stepping to the plate. It's Tim Hudson. Hudson, 0 for 1 on the day. First pitch. And it's just to catch that inside corner first strike. Hudson, a career four-time All-Star, won the 2014 World Series. This one, just outside. One and one. The count evens up. Hudson did play a bit of his career with the Braves, so he, he got a fair amount of at-bats. This one a bit high, and that'll make it two and one. In his career, he mustered a 160 batting average. Not terrible for a pitcher. Not great. Also hit four home runs. Ooh, is that one fouled back? Making it two and two. Four home runs he hit. That was in a total of 710 plate appearances. 
Oh, uh, this one grounded over toward first. Billie Jean Blackwood not heading home. Tommy trying to get there in time, but not able to. As everyone's safe again. If you want to score runs, all you gotta do is hit grounder softly to first. Oh, and now here comes a good hitter to the plate. It's Jeff Bagwell heading up now. First pitch by Sean Green. Ooh, swung through. Ducks on the pond here. Bagwell did walk his first time up. 0-1 here. A little bit high here. But Bagwell, he's not biting. Not batting. At all. Bagwell, a career 297 batting average. This one a bit outside, and Green being careful with him, but he can't be too careful. There's nowhere to put him. The bases are loaded, Sean Green. Bagwell, 1529. 1,529 RBI in his MLB career. Oh boy, 3-1 count here. This one a little high. Oh, but Bagwell wanted to take the cut there. He's got to get a hit here. Ricky Johnson's waiting on deck, and we all know he's not going to be able to do anything. Here it is, the 3-2. He's got the close stance. He hits it, and it's going to be Worthington. A chance for a double play. He takes it at first himself. Oh, and he throws it home. Billie Jean Blackwood will score. Bagwell's going to head to second, and he's going to get gunned down for the eventual double play. But Billie Jean Blackwood does score to put the Astros ahead, our second lead change of the day. And now it is time for story time with the Gooch. Here's something from a Major League Astros pitcher. Go Negro only hit one home run in his entire career. It was off his brother, Hall of Fame pitcher, Phil Negro. <laughs> Thanks for the story time there, Gooch. And now here comes Reese Worthington to the plate. The Blue Jays, they've done it once today. They're going to have to do it again and come on back. They got six outs to work with here. Here's the wind up. Radke. Suddenly, a smile on his face as he finds himself ahead once again. Reese had a single his first time up. Yeah, probably should have swung there, Reese. Yeah, it's a strike. You can clearly see it. 1-1 one, one the count here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! He froze him with the icicle pitch. Didn't even see it coming. Radke's starting to put those four strikeouts to use here. This one, though, fouled off. It is the top of the order up here for the Blue Jays. One, two, three, all do up. But what does that even really mean? This one a little low. Good eye there by Reese. Good eye. Don't look at your shoelaces, Reese. They're not untied. Two, two. Oh, Reese, he got underneath one there. Wheeler trying to settle underneath it. He's got the wheels and he makes the play. There you go. What's going on, Sil Solitude? What's going on? Here comes Dante. Spring in his step. And his third hot dog of the day in his belly. One away here. Ooh, the fireball. Dante tried to lay down a bunt, but no chance at all there. Oh, on the count here. As a reminder, guys, make sure you are chatting every now and then. You'll earn some double points. The 0 1. That one catches the low part of the zone. Dante gives it a cut and a miss. Glad to hear it, Solitude. Hope you enjoy some baseball. Ooh, another fireball, but this time missing a tad inside as Radke trying to be too cute there, and he's exhausted now. Here comes the long limbed Billie Jean Blackwood. That one. Oh, first pitch against Billy Jean. It's hit over into center field. Johnson, he's going to track it down. Oh, and it's a light little throw. He throws it into second, but the throw is weak. Robinson, he's exhausted. He's been pitching all day, but he'll stand at second with a double. Oh, here comes Keisha. Now, it says that Keisha's 0 for 2 today, but we all know that she had the 3 RBI triple the last time that she was up. 
as that pitch is a tad inside to make things 1-0. Dante, usually fast on second base, but he is exhausted right now. He's not going to be fast at all. 1-1 one, one the count now. The tying run standing at second. This by far the most competitive game in the history of backyard bot baseball. <laughs> Here's the one and two now. Ooh, this one. Keisha. Oh, she swung. She swung at it even though it was well outside. And down she goes. Arguably the best hitter for the Blue Jays down on strike as Billie Jean Blackwood announces herself in this game. Never mind, here comes the best player on the best hitter on the Blue Jays to the plate. It's Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. He hit that solo bomb the last time he was up. This first one, it's a slow ball. Ooh, and he's out in front of it. Billie Jean. with the trickery early on. This one, another swing and a miss, and Junior, he's raring to go, but just not connecting with these off-speed pitches up against Billy Jean Blackwood. Oh, another hook. Oh, and Junior, he spoils it. Just barely hanging around. Oh, man. 0-2 here. This one hit on the ground. Oh, a weird hop as the it gets off a weird patch of grass. Rollins gonna chuck it to third. Dante's gonna slide and save. Junior trying to steal second and just barely in underneath the tag by Hudson. Suddenly two runners in scoring position. The tying run and the go-ahead run as here comes Sean Green to the plate. He doubled his last time up. This one a little high. And Green, he's not going to bite. Just a reminder, Sean Green, the worst sideburns in the history of backyard baseball. Ooh, strike call there. Just barely catching the zone. Man, this is the most exciting game in the history of backyard bot baseball. Two and one, now the count. We've already had two lead changes. If you're just joining us, it was the Astros who jumped ahead early. The Blue Jays tacked on four in the top of the third. And then over the course of the next couple of innings, the Astros, Trastros, beg your pardon, managed to score two runs in the third and in the fourth to tie things up. Ooh, this one a swing and a miss. Had the open stance, it was on the outside corner. And now, oh. Biggest pitch of the night. Full count. Two out. Two in scoring position. Here it is. Oh, it's hit on the ground. Rollins, he's playing back, but he takes a bad angle. Robinson, he's coming home. He's going to score. Junior also heading home. The throw is a little bit short. And the Toronto Blue Jays jump back in front. It's 6-5 to five off of the RBI double from Sean Green. Oh, oh I can't handle this. I can't, I can't do it. Here comes Jeff Conine to the plate. The Blue Jays once again in the lead. This one is tad outside. <laughs> As the betting fans of the away team react. <laughs> incredible, incredible base running out of the Blue Jays. As Conine being a little bit patient here. This one right down the middle. It's hit on the ground. Bagwell, a capable fielder, but it will just go foul. One to the count here now. Billie Jean Blackwood just trying to work her way through, but Conine not going to give it to her easy. Hanging around here. Sean Green, he's fresh and has good legs out there at second. Here's the delivery. Oh, but way late. And Conine goes down. <laughs> Want to see a replay of that? Well, good for you. The entire VOD of the game is going to be available after, to, well, later on today uh, on my YouTube page. Be sure to check out the uh, panel down below that has the link to it. First time I've ever said that, so it was very choppy. Here we go, Sean Green. The big hero on with the bat. Got the two RBI doubles last time up, and now in position to be the winning pitcher as well, as Johnson 
looks at strike one. It looks at strike two. Ricky, what are you doing? Ricky, you gotta do something here. 0-2 the count. Oh, Sean Green painting this at bat. And this one, just a little chopper. Maria Luna, she fields it, flips it on to Tommy. And that'll do it for the out. Here we go, it's Pete Wheeler now. Breaking the fourth wall as he steps in. One for two today, he had that single earlier on. Oh, that one right down the middle. But Pete, it looks like he was looking at a butterfly in right field instead of swinging and was late on it. Lefty Green to the plate again. Oh, and that one, this time tattooed. It's going to stay fair. Wheeler, he's got wheels. Keisha Phillips comes out from second base to field this one. She knows Dante is tired from pitching today. Wheeler slides into third and has the trip, trip, triple. Just like that, the Trashtros are back in action with the game-tying run at third. Ahmed Khan stepping to the plate. He's got a cold today, but he did hit the solo homer to start out the scoring today. 1-0 the count here. Piazza waits on deck. Oh, here we go. Ooh, a little bit of a swing there, but a miss. <laughs> Here's Green, the delivery. Oh, he closes up the stance. This one hit up into the air. Keisha Phillips back. Junior also coming on. Help Wheeler. He's tagging. He's got the wheels. And he will score. A tied game. He'll score. Count it. Oh, the game glitched. The game glitched. Oh, take that, Trash Dros. Ha <laughs> ha. Back at you. <laughs> oh, why does this game do this? <laughs> Six to five, still the score. It should be six six. Oh no. The biggest issue in the history of backyard bot baseball as we see this glitch. Oh, and Pete Wheeler will score. There it is. Piazza gets credit for the RBI single. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is an old game. An old, old janky game. He did tag up, yes. Okay, and we're tied up. Six to six. The game fixed itself. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. <laughs> oh, man. When there's gambling money on the line, gambling fake money on the line, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, won the count here. This game doesn't do tagging up very well. <laughs> All right, a bunt laid down, even though Piazza is running and is slower than a turtle that is, I don't know, taking a nap. But we're tied up, six to six. <laughs> don't call it a janky game. It's not, it, I say that affectionately. I affectionately call this, it, it's a beautiful game. It's, it's the best game. Oh boy, we're tied up as we enter the top of the six. Here's Jorge Garcia stepping on in. First pitch, ooh, it's a little bit high. 1-0 the count here. Hey, Johnny James, three. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for rolling with us. Here's a throw on to first. Jorge Garcia is retired. Billie Jean Blackwood trying to redeem herself. She's been given a second chance here by the Bats on her team. Here's Maria Luna. One for two on this one. Big swing and a miss here. Making the count 0-1. Just keep in mind, guys, if you're not following already, if you do follow, you get more fake butts, bucks to bet with, so may as well. 1-1 one, one, now the count. Needs better grip. Yep, she's cross-gripped, is Maria Luna. Here's the delivery. Ooh, and that one hit over to third. Wheeler charges it when he should have gone laterally, and it's going to be potentially the game-winning run. Oh, Bagwell, the diving stop. He guns it over to second. Maria Luna, she's fast, but I don't know. Ooh, that one got caught in the pickle for no reason, and it's two away now. Oh, man. 
Here's Jim Tell Me now. Ooh, that one catches the outside corner, making it 0 and 1. Billie Jean Blackwood. Here's the delivery now. That one a tad outside. That'll make it 1 and 1. Here's Billy Jean again to the plate. This one a touch outside. That'll make it two and one now. Tell me being patient. As it is Reese Worthington waiting on deck here with two away. Oh, it's a laughing ball. And tell me he can't handle it. That makes it a two and two count now. Oh, it's two two now. Billy Jean, here we go. Trying to get her team to the bottom of the six, and she'll do it. Her third strikeout of the game on her 30th pitch. And now the Astros are going to come up with a chance to walk this one off. It's going to be Billie Jean Blackwood, Brad Radke, Tim Hudson due up for the Trashtros. <clears throat> Billie Jean, she's got a double today, scored a run. It was this portion of the lineup that did generate a couple of runs the last time through. This one outside corner. Ooh, a called strike there. This one, ooh, right down the middle. Here's Billy Jean. Ooh, a swing and a miss. And that'll make it 0-2. You yeah, had the home and away teams are randomly selected, so don't you worry. This one outside corner. Ooh, and Billie Jean. She's going to go down swinging. Here comes Radke now to the plate. Ooh, it is crunch time here. Here's the delivery. Ooh, outside corner here. This one popped up into the air. Here's Maria Luna. Oh, oh, she bobbles it. Oh, she can't make the play, but the throw on to first is in time. As Green, as, as Tommy will do it himself. Score that one. 2 1 3. Billy Jean is like 6'4 and 7 pounds. Yeah, just about. Here comes Tim Hudson now to the plate. This one, a tag. Oh, the ice pitch, but it is low. Tommy. Pulling out all the stops here, but missing with it. This one, a tad outside. Tell me he's not biting. Not biting. You gotta love the discipline here from Tim Hudson. Here we go. 3-0. and Tell me now in danger of walking the game-winning run onto base here. Oh boy, is he going to swing? No, and he does just that. The game-winning run now on base, and the dangerous Jeff Bagwell is walking to the dish. Oh, man. Oh, 0-1. Oh, 0 for 1 today for Jeff Bagwell. He walked his first time up. Jim, tell me, can you do it? Can you pull through? He's not even really stepping on the rubber. Is that first pitch a little bit low and misses? He's thrown five straight balls here. Oh, man. Oh, this one. Bagwell? He's going to watch go by. He's going to say, he says, you're going to throw me something better than that. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside corner here. Bagwell, a light tapper. Tell me he's coming on, fielding it. He's going to fire to first, and that'll do it. And for the first time in the history of backyard baseball, of the backyard baseball bot world series, we're going to be heading to extra innings. Oh boy. I knew this was a possibility. I just didn't know that it could happen. And it looks to be a fight till the finish. Here we go, Reese Worthington, heading on up, his third at bat. Bonus baseball! You know what bonus baseball means? It means more loyalty points for you! Be sure to check your points balance as I am awarding a bonus 200 points to everyone 
right now for extra inning baseball. You have points, yes. Use exclamation point points in order to check your balance. 0-2 the count here to Reese Worthington. And of course, guys, at the start of every game, you get to bet, you get to gamble on what team you think is going to win. And Worthington goes down on three straight pitches. And guys, keep in mind, you earn more and more fake dollars the more and more that you chat. So if you chat more, get more points. First pitch, this one a tad inside. Let me make sure that I did add all the points to everyone there. Just going to reset things here. Don't you worry, Maggie. You earn points. It's very simple. You just make sure to stay on. Oh, you can't bet now. You got to bet when the game starts. So don't you worry. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one fouled back. It'll be 1-2 and two now. What can you do with the points? You can gamble them. And at the end of the day, we'll check the leaderboard to see who's on top. 1-2. Dante pops this one up. Over to Hudson. He'll make the play. And just like that, there's two away. Here's Keisha Phillips now up. She's not 0 for 3. She did have that big 3 RBI triple. Which she tried to turn into a homer. I won the count here. Can Griffey Jr. waits on deck? Can Keisha get us there? Oh, not with a fireball like that. It's 0-2. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, another fireball. Oh, it, and she swung so late that it was a ball. <laughs> That's how you do it, kids. <laughs> One and two, the counts. <laughs> Somebody clip that. Oh, it's a laughing ball. And no, no chance for Keisha. Billie Jean Blackwood, she knew. She knew how important this, this out was. She didn't want to face Junior. <laughs> Top of the order here. Top of the order. Five errors committed by the Blue Jays. Oh man, it's just like real life. Really, really impressive stuff here. Alright. Here comes Ricky Johnson now to the plate. This one. Ricky. Oh, he got a piece of it. That's the hardest hit ball in the history of Ricky Johnson. But Maria Luna, she's too good. One away. Here we go. It's Pete Wheeler now stepping in. Pete Wheeler, two for three on the day. Triple, a single. One of his better games in the history of the Backyard Baseball Bot World Series. This one, a little bit high. Jim Tomey trying to find his way through once again with one away. Oh, this one. Pete always oh, shows bunts, but not able to get it down. That'll be one and one now. Here's the delivery. Tad inside. Good discipline there by Pete. Two one now. Here's a two one. This one, Pete swinging. A big cut. Comes out of his stance completely, but the count evened up at two and two. This one tad outside, and that'll make the count come full now. Full count here for Wheeler. It is Ahmed Khan waiting on deck. The slow pitch. Oh, and he got him. How are you? Late swing on the slow pitch, Pete. Come on, man. Oh, no. All right, here comes Ahmed. Way, way back in the start of this game, in the bottom of the first, Ahmed Khan went yard to start things off. First pitch to him. This one down the middle. Oh! The freeze pitch! You don't see it coming until it's too late! Oh, one the count here. Jim Tomey working his way ahead. And now, Ahmed, he, he doesn't even know what to do. He doesn't even know what to do. Oh, to the count. 
The ice cream man is Jim Tomey as he threw the, the freeze pitch there. Keisha, diving effort, throw to first. That's it. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful sequence of event there as the Toronto Blue Jays are pushing us to an eighth inning. Oh, man. Drink some water, guys. Drink some water. You need to drink water. Drink water. Mmm. Agua. All right. Here's Ken Griffey Jr. Three for three today. Homer, double, a single. Just a triple away from the cycle. Oh, boy. First delivery. He shows butt. Griffey, what you doing, man? Come on. Lemonade works, too. Lemonade's delicious. Oh, won the count here. This one, ooh, a little bit outside, 1-1. One, one. Freeze pitch is definitely the best, it's the most satisfying pitch to, to watch. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, and it's 2-1 now, okay. Okay, Griffey, working the count here a little bit. This one, making it 3-1 now. And if you're Billie Jean Blackwood, do you just walk him here? Do you just walk him? Don't give him something to hit, right? Oh, she's going to challenge him. Griffey. Oh, a big cut. Only one thing on his mind there, and that was to make it 7-6. to six. He swings through it, though. Full count. Here's the delivery. Payoff pitch. And ball four. Oh. The go-ahead run is aboard for the Blue Jays. And they got Sean Green coming up, followed by Jeff Conine. Easily, easily the best game in the history of Backyard Bot Baseball. Ooh, oh, won the count here. Sean Green, he even opened up for that, but was late on the swing. Griffey, he does have good wheels over there at first. This pitch here, it's taken the other way. Wheeler, oh, he's not able to get on it, but he is actually. The throw to second, and he manages to make the play. It got by him, but he's so fast that he managed to field it and chuck it to second in time. Griffey showing a little bit of signs of fatigue there as he wasn't able to make it in time, as it'll be one away, but now with the Sean Green on first. First pitch to Conine. Oh, the slow ball. Conine. He was scared of a freeze pitch there and didn't even swing at it. <coughs> Here's the 0-1. Ooh, that one, it's grooved. Conine, the big cut. Oh, it's the best pitch you've seen all day, Jeff, and he can't do anything with it. Oh, no. Oh, two, the count. A little bit high here. Oh, and he swings at it. Jeff Conine swings out of his shoes. That's what happens when you play for the Orioles, folks. You make bad decisions. Have just Jeff Conine now has the golden sombrero upon his head with three strikeouts. Golden sombrero means that everyone who's in chat currently just got 50 points. Congratulations, guys. Enjoy your points. Here's the delivery. Oh, Jorge, he finally gets a hold of one. This one hit towards center field. Ricky Johnson, though, he'll come on. And that makes the play. How many freeze pitches can you use? Well, it depends. Every time that you strike someone out, you get a power-up pitch. Uh, each power-up pitch that you get, it's random, and you get to use it three times throughout the course of the game. Making it look easy. Yeah, easily the most routine fly ball we've seen all day. <laughs> Alright, here comes the pizza man, Mike Piazza, to the plate. Oh, he opens up the stance. Says, challenge me inside, Jim, tell me. Mike Piazza, easily the creepiest smile out of everyone in this game. But you know what? Smile anyway, Mike. He does challenge him inside. This one hits to Worthington. Worthington knocks it down, picks it up, throws to first with a noodle arm, and the slow, slow, slow Piazza manages to beat it out. The Astros once again threatening in the bottom of the eighth. Here comes Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy, he closes up his stance. This one a little bit inside and high. Gonna be a one and oh now. Get Ken, please. Here's the one oh. 
And that one does manage to catch the inside corner, making it one and one. Considering Jim Toby's not a pitcher, he's done well. He's done serviceable. Both offenses have gone cold since the sixth inning started after an absolute flurry to start off this ball game. 2-1. This one a little bit low. And I'll make a 3-1 now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here's the 3-1. This one a tad outside. Raw is laying down a bunt. Again, Piazza is slow. And again, we'll get gunned out. The base runner not able to be advanced. But Jimmy Rollins with really good speed on first base. Here comes Billy Jean Blackwood. Here we go at, at that portion that... Here we are again at that, uh... This portion of the lineup that produced that big bottom of the third. Here we go, a slow pitch to start things off. Oh, Rollins, he's stealing, and they know they have no shot at getting him as they throw it down to third instead. The game-winning run, now in scoring position. Billie Jean Blackwood, can she be the hero? She's pitched us here. Oh, this one, right down the middle. Billie Jean, she gets a hold of it. Oh, oh, but Rollins, he, he came off the bag, and a double play for the Blue Jays. Oh my goodness! What a crazy, crazy turn of events as we are now heading to the ninth! I can't believe it! Oh man! As a reminder guys, usually we only go six innings. Oh! Here we go, Maria Luna coming to the plate. First pitch, Billie Jean. She hit that one hard, but right at the pitcher. 0-1 the count here. Luna, Tommy, Reese, all do up this inning. That pitch, just outside. That'll be one and one. Ooh, deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Billie Jean at 55 pitches already. He slid in, but was just barely out. This one off the grass. Rollins takes a bad route. He's got a good arm at short, but not good enough to get Maria Luna. Toronto, the second inning and a row where they do manage to get the leadoff batter aboard. <laughs> Here's Tommy, the Hall of Famer, 0 for 3 today. He struck out. Oh, but this one grooved to him. This one hit in the air. Hudson, though, diving stop. He's going to throw to second. No chance. Rollins flips it on to first, though. And the exhausted Tommy, who is so tired from pitching, can't even muster to run his way three-fourths of the way down the base pass. Here's Reese. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Reese. Big time Reese here. One for three on the day. One out. Luna, good wheels at second. Ooh, first pitch looking. Billy Jean looking good. 58 pitches in. That one, it's tad low. Tad low. The funny thing is that if needed, the Astros also have Tim Hudson that they can bring in from second base. This one, another strike. Reese really being patient here, being very conservative. Trying to make sure that he does not get... He, he wants something to hit here. Here's the 1-2. Ooh, just missing. That'll make it 2-2. Two and two. Oh, this foolishness is just starting, Jorge. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Little outside. And Reese has not moved. He's been a statue there at the plate. I think he's still holding his breath in from taking a... Taking that inhaler puff. Oh, eventually swings, but is way late on it as he'll go down. Oh, man. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. Here comes Dante now. Dante, a big day for him. Two for four, two doubles, and now his fifth hot dog. What an impressive outing. This one, Dante, ooh, off the tip of the bat. Oh man, 
Can he put it in play here? Here we go, the delivery. Ooh, way ahead of that right hook there and Billy Jean in dominant control here. Billy Jean a full three feet taller than Dante Robinson. That one just a tad inside. One, two, the count here. This one. Oh, the freeze! Oh, no! Dante had no chance at all as she chilled his hot dog there. But Dante will excitedly make his way back to the bench where he has a hamburger waiting for him. Oh, we head to the bottom of the ninth. Both teams, six runs, both team, 11 hits. The Blue Jays have committed five errors, but have really started to field well here in the later innings. It's going to be Radke, Hudson, Bagwell do up the bottom of the order here. Oh, it's a screwball, but it's well outside there. 1-0 the count. Jim Tomey has to be getting exhausted. Here's the delivery. Oh, it's down the middle. Radke, he hits it softly right back to Tomey. Tomey, though, he's exhausted. He can't even muster the energy to throw it over to first base. And again, the Astros are threatening here. Here comes Tim Hudson, who, you know what? Considering he hasn't pitched today, has put together a respectable game for himself. He's a pitcher by trade. He's fielded well, and he's one for two at the plate. Oh, opens up the stance and absolutely takes a rip at that one, but not able to make contact. And here comes Sean Green for the second time today. He's going to be sick. He, he's, he's pitching again. It took him out earlier, but now he's pitching again. <laughs> 0-2. <laughs> Three hours of hockey. Ooh, that's a long one. And another change. The double shift here as Maria Luna, who has been catching all game, will now be pitching. Here's Maria. Her first delivery. And she strikes him out. One pitch. One strikeout. Let's go, Maria. Let's go, Maria. That's what you like to see right there. It's going to be up to Jeff Bagwell here. 0 for 2 today. He did have that walk. <clears throat> Only one away here. <laughs> Here's the delivery. A right hook. Bagwell. He gets a hold of this one. It's hit into the air. Jorge Garcia settling underneath it, though. He'll make the play. As heading on back to first is Radke. We don't worry. <laughs> the, the Backyard Bot Baseball uh, League does not yet have a pitch count protocol yet. It's still 2003, so don't worry about it. Here's Ricky Johnson to the plate, who actually got a hit today. This one hit on the ground. Conine? 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 What are you doing, Conine? Terrible angle. And now the Astros with the game-winning run in scoring position. Here comes Pete Wheeler to the plate. Oh, man. Oh, Pete Wheeler. He's two for four. A triple and a single. Ahmed Khan waits on deck, but there are two away. It could all end here with Pete Wheeler. Ooh, a big cut and a miss. Oh, one. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Here's the delivery. Oh, he lays down the bunt. Everyone's fairly fast. This might be okay. No, the throw to third, and it's not in time. Bases loaded. Two out. This is everything that you dream of if you're Ahmed Khan stepping to the plate. One for four today. He closes up his stance. He had that solo homer. It'll either end here or we'll head to the 10th. Oh, a freeze pitch, but it's inside for a ball. Maria Luna, she was put in this scenario. Oh, man. Here's the zigzag. Ooh, strike. Pete tried to go to second. I didn't even see it. I was staring at third. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, this one inside. 2-1 the count. Maria Luna, you got to throw strikes here. There's nowhere for him to go. There's nowhere for him to go. Oh, here's the delivery. Oh! 
Two and two, the count! You thought it hit him? I don't think there's hit pitches in this game, unfortunately. Here's the two, two. This one, outside corner. This one, it's hit well. Jorge, Reese, he's back. He's gonna, ah! Is this in the air? And he didn't get it. That's gonna do it. That's the ball game. There's the score. And they're rubbing it in. And just like that, the game ends six to nine. A walk off effort. Reese throws his hat down on the ground, disgusted with himself as the Astros walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. Wow. Wow. The craziest, craziest game in the history of backyard bot baseball. And that's going to do it.